This is 32 years of female ultrasound, gynecological, with severe pelvic pain, severe excruciating pain in the, uh, in the pelvis. She is uh, married, has three kids, no history of operation, any cesarean section or uh, any DNCs, etc. So, now this is the length of the uh, uterus, 9.7, up to 11 is normal. This is the anterior posterior diameter of the uterus, 4.6 up to 5 cm is normal. Now this is the endometrial canal which is central, clear and uh, in a very early proliferative phase. This is the myometrium anterior, no focally and nothing. This is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section as we are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section. Now, when I you concentrate on the uterus now. This is the uterus, as I was showing you initially. Now, as I move the probe towards the right admixer, you see a cystic area with the posterior wall enhancement and small amount of fluid also uh, at the medial margin of the cyst. Now, you see this is the cystic in the region of the right adnexa and this is small amount of fluid and uh, if we see this, this is fluid, this is small amount of fluid again and if we see fluid with so much severe pain in a patient, any patient, uh, we think of uh, torian ovarian cyst. Now this is the right sided cyst and uh, it has a complete septa, thin septa within it it measures approximately 10.2 centimeter by 7.1 centimeter and uh, its uh, volume, estimated volume is So estimated volume is more than 200 ml, 212.8 uh, ml. So uh, now when we see, if you see two cystic areas together as I am showing you here, now it's difficult to tell which is the cyst and which is the urinary bladder. The trick is you ask the patient to avoid uh, and uh, empty the bladder. So which one will be the urinary bladder will disappear. So presently I need this much of uh, urine to evaluate the pelvic region. So this is the right uh, uh, adnexa. Here is the, uh, these are the right iliac vessels. You see, right iliac vessels. And these, now this cyst is in fact internally clear of any uh, calcification, no internal lactose are seen in this cyst and uh, no solid element is seen. However, cyst is of large size and the volume is about uh, 200 ml. There is small amount of fluid seen around uh, at the medial margin of the cyst. Of, of the cyst. And uh, now I am going to show you the transfer section of the kidney, of, of the uh, uh, ureter. This is the ureter, uh, sorry, this is the uterus in transfer section. This is the endometrial canal. What we see here is that the, the right, uh, left ovary is not visualized at its uh, usual position. It should have been somewhere here close to the iliac vessels. But uh, we do not see the ovary in this region. So what has happened is that the uh, left ovary has been displaced, displaced downward, is displaced and is seen posterior to the uh, uterus and uh, it may 
this is the inner in fact, which is also cystic measuring approximately 7.2 into 4.7 centimeter. So now let me show you both together. This is the transfer section showing you the uterus. This is the uterus. This is the cyst uh, seen posterior to this uterus in transfer section. And uh, as I will move the probe, you will see it is displaced bit laterally in the region of the left head nexa. This is the region of the left head nexa. And this is the uterus. And uh, here, uh, on the right side, you will see the right ovary. No, sorry, the right uh, ovarian cyst. <coughs> Yeah, you see, they are both are separate. This one, you see the distance between the two. This is the uterus in transfer section and the metal canal. This is the left ovarian cyst, uh, uh, which is uh, extending towards the left head nexa. This is the right uh, ovarian cyst, and in between you can see the lovely bowel. They are distinct from each other, they are not one. And this is a case of uh, bilateral uh, ovarian, large ovarian cysts with the patient is, is in quite an ag in, in agony and understandably because there is some fluid, so possibility of torsion of the ovarian cyst cannot be ruled out. Otherwise, the uterus is normal and the kidneys I have seen, rest of the ultrasound is unremarkable. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.